Hey everyone, welcome back to Denim Vixen. It's Kathy, and today I'm gonna to do something a little different. Um, I don't know if this has ever been done on YouTube because I only watch a few channels, but the channels that I do watch, I absolutely love, and I tend to find more and more every day, but um, but I also have to, um, you know, I can't sit around and watch YouTube all day. I've gotta live my life too, which is what I should be doing right now. I should be doing about 20 loads of laundry, but here I am doing the video. But anyway, um, I tend to find that as much as I love the haul videos and I love doing haul videos, I sometimes find that I just tend to shop just to do a haul video and um, I don't need all that stuff. I have a lot of clutter. My husband tells me I'm a hoarder. I'm not a hoarder. I might be a borderline hoarder, but I'm not a hoarder. I can get rid of stuff. But I do find I become obsessed with things. When I find something I absolutely love, then I absolutely have to have one of everything, unfortunately. So I am um, setting a goal for myself to try to start shopping my stash. So my hauls, I think, for now, we'll be shopping my stash. So today, my stash is my sunglass stash. And um, I was watching the show, The Ladies of London, the other day, and one of the girls on there was um, going through her sunglasses. And I thought, okay, well, she has a lot of sunglasses. I don't have that many sunglasses, but the sunglasses that I do have are probably just enough for me. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven pairs, seven pairs, eight pairs. I don't remember how many. We'll see at the end of this video how many there are, but I do have quite a few sunglasses that I think I'll show you. Um, I have quite a few sunglasses that I will show you, and um, I'm sure that out of all those glasses, I have plenty to get me through the summer. So I apologize in advance because my dog is going crazy. He's playing, but at least he's not chasing the cat. So um, that's a good thing. So we'll just disregard the noise in the background. I wish I was awake, I could turn that down, but I'm not really sure how to do that yet. I'm not that good with editing. But um, anyway, let's get started with my sunglasses. So a couple months ago, I showed you for my birthday, I bought myself a pair of Tory Burch um, kind of cat eye sunglasses. And I, um, I like them, but I'm so used to wearing the bigger glasses. I think it's because I like glasses to cover my eyebrows. And right now I do need to cover my eyebrows because I'm trying to grow them in. They got a little thin, so I'm trying to grow them in. So, you know, they're, you know when you're growing them in, it's really ugly and you kind of need to disguise the, the ugliness of the hair growing back before you can reshape them again. Um, oh, I have a little tip for that. Um, when I worked for Benefit years ago, years, years ago, um, which I've talked about before. Um, we had something called an it stick, which was basically just a concealer stick. And um, one way we used to market it was to um, disguise your eyebrows as they were growing in between, um, between waxes. So you would just actually just draw under where your grows were, where your hairs were growing in and um, just cover it up with the it stick, which I don't have an it stick, but I do have lots and lots of concealer. So I kind of find I just do that with a brush and it kind of, it's kind of helping a little bit. But, um, but that's a, that's a handy little tip that I have for you if you are in the process of growing in your brows. So I did those Tory Burch glasses that I ended up not keeping. I ended up returning them because I just felt like I needed to have a bigger frame for my face. And as much as I want those Ray-Bans that everyone's wearing, the Wayfarers, and I know they do a bigger Wayfarer, I, I don't need another pair of glasses, and I remember purchasing those in the 80s, and I was gonna say the first time they came out, but I don't think the 80s was the first time when they came out. I think they came out in the 50s. But I'm having a hard time going back into the 80s. I'm sure eventually, probably by the time the 80s fad goes, I'll be into it because I'm always just a little behind in the fashion, but oh well. Um, so I don't have those yet. It may happen, but right now I'll just stick with these Ray-Bans. These are a great aviator. These are kind of um, like a bubble aviator. I don't know, I guess they call them kind of a bubble wrap. And I think these are really cute. Nice gold frame. Kind of fun. So these are one pair of my mini sunglasses in my collection. And another, oh, speaking of the gold frames, I have these. These are Tom Ford. Kind of nice. They look very, very similar to those um, gold Ray-Ban aviators. See what I mean? I kind of obsess. I get one pair, then I have to have several that look just like it, but just a little different. 
kind of like all those black shoes we have and those little black dresses. They look pretty much exactly the same, but you're just something that's just a little different that of course nobody will notice except for you. But these are kind of fun. The only problem with these is I love these glasses so much. However, this little piece over here, you can see the difference. This little piece fell off and I need to send them back and have that replaced. Or I could just pop this piece off and have it matching. Or I could just wear them exactly how they are and see if anyone notices because maybe nobody will notice. But those are a lot of fun. These are Tom Ford. Love them, love them, love them. But this is another cute pair of Tom Fords that I have that I love so much. My sister got a pair. I sent her a pair for Christmas. Oh, oh and here's my other Tom Ford. Because when I'm wearing silver, I might need a silver frame. So I have these. And these are really neat. I don't remember the names of all of my glasses. I buy them and I love them. But these are so cute. They're a little crooked because I left these over at a neighbor's house that has kids and went back and got them a couple days later and um, I feel like they were stretched down a little bit so the kids were probably wearing them around. But they have that classic little Tom Ford cutout, um, I don't know what you call that, the cutout lens frame. They're nice and big. I love these glasses. I get lots of compliments when I wear these and I feel like such a movie star. And I have these. These are Betsy Johnson. I bought these from 15 store.com because I thought I needed some silver aviators. I don't like these as much as the Ray-Bans, but these were $15, so hey, these will do in a pinch. And they remind me of a pair. I have these in silver, but then my husband with his really big head wore them and stretched them out. So they don't fit my head and I can't get them adjusted. I've, I've tried adjusting them, they just don't fit right again. So I just gave them to him and said, enjoy your new glasses. And I got these little Betsy Johnsons instead. And then these are Michael Kors. And these are, I love these too. These are a nice black frame with the silver accents. Love them. These were not that expensive either. And I say, when I say not that expensive, I will say like the Tom Fords can be like $200 or more. Um, don't tell. But these, I think I paid 75 for them. So you see the difference when I say not that expensive, but um, as opposed to these that were 15. So I think, oh, I think that's it. Oh, wait, I have some Dolce & Gabbana, like a over, little over 100 for them. But like I said, they're kind of older, so I don't really care as much anymore. So these are good for just like wearing to the beach when you don't really mind if they're a little scratched up or, or whatever. So. Those are cute. And then I have, these are not sunglasses, but these are just my regular glasses because as we know, as we get older, our eyes kind of start to go. And I've been wearing those little cheater glasses that you get like at the 99 cent store or Costco or wherever that just magnify. And I was getting tired of running around looking like an old lady like this because even though I can't see up close anymore, I I can see distance. So I splurged and went to the eye doctor and got some progressive lenses so basically bifocals that don't have the line in them. And these are by Furla. And I like these a lot too. So I can wear these and I don't look like an old lady running around. I just wear those and I can actually see. So that's um, a really good thing, being able to see. Yeah, so I hope you like my um, Shopping My Stash series. I hope you enjoyed my little sunglass collection. Like I said, I may end up splurging and repurchasing those Ray-Bans because even though I know they're not the same as the ones I had in the 80s, there's always something just a little different about the new ones that come out. But I, um, I, I just, I don't think I need them right now. I think I have enough to get through the summer. So hopefully, willpower, willpower. Um, hopefully you enjoyed that. Um, Stay tuned. I have lots more stash to shop. I've got makeup. I've got clothes. So if you enjoy my videos, please feel free to subscribe, like, share, um, and come back. I'll see you next time. Bye.